So we have a basic table created here. We have sports, number of players, basketball, five players. So we started by creating the table, having a border of one, then we created our first row, which is the TR tag, then we created our first column, which is the TD tag, and in the first column we put sports. On the web page you can see sports is in the first cell. Then we created another column called number of players. You can see the second column says number of players. So then we close the first row, we created a new row. And then we created a column that says basketball. And then we created another column saying five players. And we close the row and we close the table. So we want to learn how to change the size of the cells. So for the first column, let's say we want the width to be 200. So in the TD row, or TD tag, we'll take width equals double quote 200, double quote. We'll save that. Now, the first column of both rows are 200. So whatever the first column does, it goes throughout the table to every first column. So if the first column of the first row is 200, then the first column of the second row is going to be 200. So now we've changed the height, or the width, of that. Now we want to change the height. So in the same TD tag, we'll take height equals 50. Put 50 in double quotes. Save. Refresh. Now the height of the first row is 50. Now we want to add some styles to sports and number of players because those look to be our headings. And so we'll make the H1 tag for sports to be the heading. Close that. And we'll do the same to number of players. H1. Close that tag. We'll save. Hit refresh. Now, sports and number of players have different headings. But we want these to be centered. So for sports, right around the word sports, we're going to enter the center take. Then we need to close the center tag. We'll save it, hit refresh, and now sports is in the middle of the column. So that's how you do some aligning and changing of table sizes with width and the height. And you can go to our code example to see more, co more code on how to create more advanced tables.